Hello. Haha. <laughs> Welcome. This is episode 11. Zo the Breath of the Wild. All right. And in today's episode, we're going to the Korak village. Yeah, we're already on the way. We're uh, right on the path. And I think uh, the first thing we do is we see Impa. And she's, uh, she's going to give us a little story, a little backstory, and uh, some more uh, quests and, and uh, more, you know, uh, stuff to do. All right, cool. So let's just get straight into it. All right. Episode 11. Cool. Thank you so much, Timo. Appreciate you, as always. And let's come continue up this, uh, down this path. He still he uh Vex Vex uh he, he doesn't like to uh do yes he doesn't like to do what we say yet but that's okay we're fi oh we're figuring things out yeah it's okay it's okay buddy just there we go yes is good oh wait let's get a Korok seed there you go buddy at least it's not like fucking. I mean, I I don't want to shit on other games, you know, because every game has value to it. I feel like, uh, for the most part. I mean, not to say that it's not worth critiquing games, but it's just you know, enjoy things, you know. But Red Dead Two, the fact that you have to fucking like uh, hitch your horse every time. I don't know. I just it's just like annoying. I mean, you don't have to hitch it. I don't think, but I I mean, it does make you kind of do it, but. Yeah, it's whatever. Yahaha! Yeah Yahaha! You found me! Go hug seed. Thank you so much. Bye bye! <laughs> Alright. I just, I'm just impatient. That's really what it is. And Red Dead, it just kind of in encourages you to take your time, you know, enjoy the game. And, uh, I mean, this game does kind of too, but it kind of helps for my ADHD because I can just instantly just pop off. Oop, now I'm grabbing this frog. Boom. Uh, got that. Now I'm back in the horse, you know? I could just do things like that, and I like that a lot about this game. Me being a very impatient person. Ooh, let's get this. Uh, give me my crabla. Yes. Jaboom. We got a rock shot and an opal. We can sell that for money. All right. Oh, I keep... <laughs> I meant to make you go faster. How do you go? Yeah. Yeah. And there we go. Shaboom. Nope, that's not what I want. This is... Oh, I don't have a bear, uh, an arrow. Uh, let's just, let's just use my shit one. There we go. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you found me. All right, another Korok seed. Bye. -bye. Sweet. Um, normally I would go up there and get my arrows, but nah, fucking who cares. Ah, there's just a few arrows we can get them easily. Kakariko Village. All right, what's up, dude? Ouch. Traveler, I'm sorry, but I seem to have twisted my ankle. <clears throat> Let's see here. Oh, I'm sorry you had to see me like that. Say, Traveler, where did you get that object hanging from your waist? Well, you see, I found it on the floor. It, I didn't steal it from anybody. Uh, well, it wasn't on the floor. It was, like, on a pedestal. But, you know, the pedestal, it didn't say not to take it. Yes, I see. That Shiga Slate is a symbol. It means you are a hero of legend. Though, there are few who know of such legends anymore. But we Shiga have been waiting for you for a long time. Please, before all else, I must insist that you meet with our leader, our leader Lady Impa. Okay, where is she? Oh, at the big house, okay. Lady Impa's house is below Lantern Falls, just over there. Uh. In any case, it was a real honor to meet you. <laughs> I suppose you're used to that, having lived as long as you have. Uh, no, I just kind of took a really long nap. But, you know, 
I just love me, I love me my naps, you know? I can't get enough. All right, come on, Vix, let's go. Okay, let's go to snail's base, why don't you? There we go. Oh, I know you're grumpy. Yeah, oh, okay, you know what, Vex? You can just chill. Yeah, I know, you're upset, but once I tame you to 100, you'll be okay. Um, well, at least you'll be better. Well, at least until I can get Epa. But I feel like even if we get Epona, I don't know if she can, if we can put the fast travel, like, stuff on her to make the horse fast travel to us. Um, what's up, dude? Hmm. Are you? Sorry to bother you, but are you a fellow traveler? As for me, I just love art. In fact, I'm traveling the world in search of beautiful landscapes. Just between you and me. I hear there's a great fairy fountain somewhere near this village. I hear it's breathtakingly beautiful. Aesthetics aside, they also say the place can bestow some kind of mysterious power on people. However, since I'm an outsider, I can't get anyone to tell me any more details than that. These villagers never leave the safety of their village, so travelers like me aren't treated with suspicion. But I won't give up. Oh, and if I manage to find out anything, I'll be sure to let you know. Okay, thanks, dude. Appreciate you. Um, oh, we have a Korok challenge. Um, oh, wrong button. Give me my apple. Just one, please. And I will set it down like a peaceful little grenade. Boom. Haha. <laughs> Yeah, you found me. All right. Bye bye. See you later, dude. Oh, actually, we're just kind of gonna chill there. Um. Hey, what's up, guys? Oh. You there? Who are you? How dare you trespass upon Lady Impa's abode? Hmm. Is that a shikslet? But that would mean you are. No, it's not possible. Can it? Please forgive us for behaving so rudely. Of course we have heard the legends from Lady Impa herself. Please, friend, go ahead and step inside. Alright. Thanks, Dorian. Thanks, Kato. Or Kato. I don't know how that's pronounced. Oh, hey, uh, per, 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 Paya. Paya. Hi, I knew that. Ah, a man! Uh, is that? It's a Sheikah Slate. Could you be the hero my grandmother told me about? What was his name? Lin, Lin, Linda? Um, oh, it's not that I forgot. I, I, I just, I'm bad with speaking. As for me, my, my name is Papa, p -p Potato. I mean, p -p 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 Pineapple, Pineapple, Pineapple. Oh, Pineapple. <laughs> my name is Pia. Phew, got it out. I know I should be able to say that easily, seeing how it's my own name and all. I'm so sorry. Anyway, my grandmother has been waiting your return, <laughs> awaiting your return ever since I was little. P please hurry inside. Thank you. Uh, oh, it's okay. Don't cry. Uh, do you have any chest, uh, uh, like a, a chest, a secret chest behind you? Nope. Sometimes there's chests behind houses. You know, you never know. You gotta check behind the houses in games, for the most part. Uh, you know, is there is there a chest under the house? Maybe. Oh, ooh, there's a there's some shrooms there. Let me get some mushrooms. Can I? There we go. Give me the good stamella shrooms. Yes. All right. Give me more stamella shrooms. Good. Yes, we're stocking up on the stamella shrooms. All right. Now let's go. Let's go meet Lady Impa. Excuse me. Hey, what's up, guys? Uh, I'm back again. All right. There we go. Let's get in here. Hello, I'm here. Honey, I'm home. I needed the long nap. Okay, I was tired. <laughs> it's a knee slapper. No, you don't look a day over 20. Philip? Uh, what's your name? 
silver. What is the matter? You are looking at me as though I am a stranger to you. Those eyes, they lack the light of familiarity. It is I, courageous one, Impa. Surely you must at least remember the name Impa. No, uh, not really. Oh, I see. So you lost your memory. Well, it matters not. In fact, that may actually be a blessing in disguise for the time being. Dearest Link, please come a bit closer. Oh, God, you smell bad. Have you showered? It's been a hundred years. You know what? Stay back there. A hundred years ago. Yes, yeah, it's been a hundred years since you have showered. Have you at least gone into any water? A hundred years ago, the kingdom of Hyrule was destroyed. After you fell, Princess Zelda's final wish was to place you in a sacred slumber. And then, all alone, alone she went to face Ganon. Before Princess Zelda went to nobly meet her fate, she entrusted me with some words she wished to say to you. I have been waiting one hundred years to deliver the princess's message. However, these words which the princess risked her life to leave you, well, if you are to hear them, you must prepare, be prepared to risk your life as well. But I am that burden, may be too... Oh, <laughs> but I am afraid that burden may be too much to bear while you are still without your memories. I leave the choice to you. When you feel you are ready to receive the princess's message, return to me. Okay. Well, um, just so you know, uh, my email has like a thousand messages that I haven't read, so it might be a long time. So, well, uh, do you have any more things to say, though? The words that princess risk her life to impart to you. I cannot pass them on to someone who lacks conviction. I mean, I have conviction. Are you prepared to risk your life for the greater good? I mean, yeah. Yeah, I am. Ha! <laughs> Not a memory to your name. Yet you are as intent as ever to charge forward with only courage and justice on your side. You have not changed a bit. Once a hero, always a hero. Very well. Since you have lost your memory, I will recount for you all that has happened. Story time. was then blossoming as a highly advanced civilization. Even the most powerful monsters posed little threat to the denizens of the realm. The people thought it wise to utilize their technological prowess to ensure the safety of the land, should Calamity Ganon ever return. Constructed four mechanical wonders that came to be known as the Divine Beasts. They also built a legion of autonomous weapons called Guardians. The Divine Beasts were piloted by four individuals of exceptional skill from across the land. And thus, the plan to neutralize Ganon was forged. Upon Ga 
Ganon's inevitable return to Hyrule. The princess and the hero fought alongside these four champions against this ancient evil. The guardians were tasked with protecting the hero as the divine beasts unleashed a furious attack upon their terrible foe. And when the hero wielding the sword that seals the darkness delivered his final blow, the princess used her sacred power to seal away Calamity Ganon. was a nice little story time, huh? And, uh... <clears throat> in the next episode, we'll, we'll, we're gonna pause it right here, and the next episode we'll finish uh, what Impa has to, stay, has to say. But, um, yes, thank you all so much for joining us. Um, let's just turn, turn this bad boy back on. Yeah. Alright. Well, uh, thank you so much. I appreciate you all coming. This has been episode 11 of Zelda. Yeah, hey, give us a like if you liked it. Subscribe for more. This has been Cap and the Boys. Signing off.